President Bola Metinubu has sworn in Senator George Akume as the new secretary to the government of the Federation at the Council Chamber on Wednesday. Akume took his oath of allegiance and oath of office in the presence of government officials. Among those present at the swearing in are Vice President Kashim Shetima, President of the Senate Ahmed Lawan, Governor Abdurrahman Abdurrazak of Kwara State, Head of the Civil Service of the Federation Dr. Folashade Yemiyeson, and the spouse of the new SGF, Mrs. Regina Akume. The president had last Friday appointed Akume as the SGF. He also appointed the outgoing Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamina, as his new Chief of Staff, while the former Deputy Governor of Jigawa State, Senator Ibrahim Hadidja, was appointed as Deputy Chief of Staff. Do so well, that I will be faithful and dear true allegiance the Federal Republic of Nigeria and that I will preserve, protect, and defend those of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me, God. As Secretary to the Government of the Federation, I will discharge my duties to the best of my ability, faithfully and in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the law, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, Solidarity, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But I will strive to, pro to preserve the fundamental objectives and directed principles of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic. The wife of the Abia State Governor, Mrs. Priscilla Oti, on Tuesday paid an unscheduled visit to the pregnant young girls who were rescued from the baby factory located at Umubei Unvosi in Isilangwa South local government area with an assurance that immediate appropriate action is being taken to rehabilitate them. Mrs. Oti, who expressed sadness and disappointment over the incident, described it as heartbreaking, noting, however, that the governor is providing care temporarily for the girls. She regretted that such an unfortunate act is being carried out in Abia State and assured that government would partner with homes, churches, and other stakeholders to provide necessary assistance to care for the young girls and children in the state who are being taken advantage of. Speaking earlier, the provost, Maduna College of Health Technology, Olokoro, where the girls are being rehabilitated. Reverend Father Kristen Anokuru narrated how the government brought the inmates to the maternity section of the College of Health in order to care for them. He disclosed that the girls who are about 20 in number are pregnant. What necessary scanning and tests have been conducted on them? Other than that one of them has delivered a baby, he assured the first lady that they will be adequately catered for.